Number five, zero eight. It's on the screen. Where's my That's the chorus are coming. Blessed of a Norman organ. <laughs> so, um, Amanda, whenever you're ready, you can begin reading. Okay, Psalms 27. Behave yourself. 14 verses. Oh dear. It says, The Lord is my light mm -hmm. and my salvation. Yes. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and they fell. Though a host should encamp around me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Because one thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to, and to inquire sorry, in his temple. 
For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies around about me. Therefore, I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, seek my face, my heart said unto thee, my face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not unto the will of mine enemies, for false witness are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. And I fainted, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen. 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 By Jacob to come now and demonstrate some of their skills in finger. Oh yeah, oh that is. Uh, he's, uh, he's gonna serve me as well. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hold it back for you. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Do you know what? I just want to say a couple of things first before I, I croak along as I just said. Sing. Um, let me first of all just say, let me get some eye contact with Leisha. Well done, Leisha. This is a great decision, honestly. Um, I was just thinking in my mind just now that I really do like um, these kind of occasions. I like a good wedding. And I do like a good funeral as well. No, I have to be honest, I do like the food and just seeing people. Um, but this is a bit like a wedding and a funeral because today the old lady has died. And she's also going to be married with Christ. So I have all these lovely things that I love to go to, roll into one, into a baptism. Um, and yeah, Leash, this is a good decision. I'm going to sing a song, or try, try and sing a song. And, uh, she likes this song. It's off her. Do you guys know music? Yeah. It's off her. It's off her album called "Praise in the House" by Radical for Christ. Do you guys know that album? Yeah. Okay, maybe not then. Maybe not. But um, she does like the song. So, <coughs> not really. No. Um, well, let me try. Um, so yeah, here, here it is. Again.
pleasant surprises in the house of God. When you come to the house of God, you don't know um, what can happen, but the, the fact is you leave with a smile on your face most of the time. Um, there's always something pleasant happening here, you know. Um, so I happened to be reunited with Jacob. The last time, actually, the first church I preached when I came to this country was 1995 was the Gloucester Seventh-day Adventist Church. I actually did a camp meeting for them and stayed by Jacob's family. Um, at that time, he was he was still in Napit. <laughs> so I've seen him for, since he was about two. And then last night, you know, after a very long time, I was reunited with Jacob. And uh, to know that Jacob um, and Alicia will be getting married, and uh, so my, my, my heart is warm. A good friend, of the, very good friend of the family. And um, Alicia, um, because you love Jesus, and it is your desire to be saved in his everlasting kingdom. And to say goodbye to this world, but to say yes to heaven and eternity. And I'll baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Blessed Spirit. Amen. Amen. So walk a little child, my friend. reading for her, John 3, 16, and young Kelis will sing the first verse of All to Jesus I Surrender, and the chorus. Thank you, thank you. Um, just before we start, we didn't plan this yesterday. Um, we've been going through an intense period of um, prayer and fasting, and I really can recommend it. And um, this morning, um, as we were sitting together, Paris said to me, I want to do it. Amen. So it was a surprise to me. And so um, it's the best gift that I've ever had in my life. But mine is very short. Um, John 3, 1, 6. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Time. 
want you to know that every time, every Sabbath, every Wednesday night you come to church, you are in the right place at the right time. When the Spirit of God is moving, uh, when the Spirit of God is speaking to our heart. And let me tell you, sometimes you'll see some of these young people around. You don't know. You may, you may think that they're just up to mischief or, or something. But I believe they're taken in the Word of God when it is being preached. They might not be making their move as quick as some of us did. You know, I, I'll tell everybody I got baptized at 10. And um, some people think they're still not ready at 25, 30, and even, even 60. But we're so grateful that our young people, they're taking these things in. And, and their decision is not to be uh, hearers of the word, but to be doers of the word. So Paris, because you want to be saved in God's everlasting kingdom. Because you want to say, I this spread well, but to say yes to Christ and eternity. And I'm baptized in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Spirit. To God be the glory. Alive. 
And sometimes we think that tomorrow is promised to us or the next second. You know, things will just go on and on and on. We, we just don't know. We just don't know. And it's not, it's not about uh, frightening anybody. But we need to recognize that tomorrow is not. It's just not promised to us. Um, the Bible says, today, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. And if you so feel that you'd like to make this decision, even today, I invite you to come forward because we are ready to baptize you and to encourage you to walk along the Christian pathway from today into God's marvelous life. So we're going to sing a, going to sing a song. Um, let's sing a song and then I'm going to ask Pastor to come forward um, and say a, a final prayer. Maybe for someone who's struggling. Can we
join in heaven and we rejoice for the three precious souls that have come to you. Right now, Lord, we know there's a celebration going on in heaven. Yes, it is yes, rejoicing. Yes, and Father, yes. if we could just chime in a little bit and say thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes. If we just put a little bit of word and say praise the praise Lord. The Lord. Yes. Father, we just honor you right now, Lord. Yes. A great thing has been done yes. on today. But Lord, we realize and understand that the work is not yet done, Father, because there's still souls out there yes. who have yet to give themselves to you. So right now, Father, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, yes. we call for a life-changing yes. event for us yes. in this place. Yes. For that person, for that wife, for that mother, for that father, for that brother, for that man, for that woman, for that child, for that boy, for that girl, for that individual, for that family who needs to make a decision for you right now in the name yes. of Jesus, yes. speak to their hearts. Yes. We are depending on you, Father, because you are a great God. And Lord, while you're calling, Lord, let us all answer according to your will and glory. Father, we thank you. We honor you, Father, and we stand with great anticipation of the day when the gates of heaven shall open wide and we, your children, Lord, shall see you break through the clouds and we will give you all honor, glory, and praise. We thank you, Father. We thank you. Again, for that person who's not made a decision, please, Lord, we're begging that you'll spare their lives. We just heard that tomorrow is not promised. And Father, we don't want anyone to pass away in this place and not be covered under the Almighty. Amen. We don't want anyone in this place to be alive and see your coming. Instead of embracing you, we try to hide under a rock. So we're asking, Lord, that every life in this place Every family represented here will be saved. Amen. Lord, help us to declare our decide to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Stop it. We honor you, Father. We thank you. In your name we pray. Amen.